historical fashion friends and welcome to another Leave With Me video. I am going to be trying out Shaylog Lewins's Mammon Diamonds and the various motifs based off of that pattern today. I have never tried to switch motifs before so this is going to be really fun. I am super excited and all of these patterns are done with the same exact warp so you'll just have to thread your loom or your tablets once and uh, you can do a bunch of different designs. So we're gonna try that out. My cat is digging in his box right now. You covered it, you did a good job. He did a really good job. Yeah, he's very concerned about the situation in his box always. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little different. First, I'm going to be talking about the pattern and showing you what I'm doing. But then as I continue to weave, I'm actually gonna be starting part one of a new series. I have been wondering in my head, what can I do while I'm weaving? That is, you know, not just everyone watching me weave in silence for a significant amount of time. So I am actually going to be reading Beowulf in parts, like almost like an audiobook style, but there will be video because I'll be weaving, but I'll also be reading Beowulf. And I am excited about that. I tried to think of something that I thought people who like tablet weaving would also like to listen to. So I am excited. And this is gonna be my first time reading Beowulf. Um, of course, I'll prepare before uh, <laughs> reading it for you all, but I have not read Beowulf before. So I am very excited for this. If you're also excited about reading Beowulf or listening to Beowulf, Give a subscribe and we will be continuing this throughout the year in various parts. Uh, each segment is a very good length for a video and reading out loud. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you are looking forward to this in the comments and let's get weaving. Okay. So to start for her pattern, uh, it's six turns forward. So Number one. Oops. Two. I think I accidentally started on B. And as always, I am going to be putting my uh, ends through the loops to secure it. Uh, you'll be able to see what I mean from this video. And that just helps keep it a little bit more sturdy. All right, and now, <clears throat> oh my God, puberty hits hard. And now we are going to be turning the tablets backwards for picks. So, one. Ah, but not including your, we're gonna be turning the tablets backwards to picks, but not including the uh, exterior tablet. So we have four border tablets, which are going to continue to go in the same direction. So we are only switching direction on the interior pattern tablets. And when the twist builds up on the uh, border tablets, we're going to turn those on their own. And as you can see, I actually, uh, as you can see, I actually separate the tablets into groupings so that I can remember which ones are going which direction. Four. 
And now I'm going to be going forward another four picks. So now all the tablets are going to be moving together. So now I'm going to continue this motif by going backwards another four picks, then forwards another four picks, backwards another four, forwards another four, and then backwards another six picks, and I will be back at the start. Okay, now we're going to do our second motif, which is a slight variation on the first one in which we just move forward six picks and then backward six picks. And this creates a slightly different diamond pattern. Moving on to motifs number three and four, this one is going to create sort of a intertwining uh, <laughs> staples pattern. Obviously they wouldn't call it that. It looks a bit like the uh, 90s S, if anybody used to draw those 90s style 3D S's that everyone was like obsessed with. So in this version, there's two different variations in which the S's go different directions. So in the first one, you're going to go forward six picks and then the four pattern tablets to the right are going to continue going forward four more picks while the four to the left, splitting center, are going to go backwards four picks at the same time as the other side goes forwards. After that, all of the tablets are going to move backwards six picks and that will be the end of that motif. To reverse it, you simply will go forward six picks and then all of the four tablets to the right of center are going to go backwards and all the four tablets to the left of center are going to go forwards. And then the last six picks go backwards again. So these are the four motifs that I'm going to be working on today. And I will just continue weaving and start with part one of Beowulf. So if you want to keep watching and listen to Beowulf, you can continue from now, or I'll put a timestamp if you want to uh, skip to the end where I just show the various motifs that are finished. Lo, the Spear Dane's glory through splendid achievements, the Folk King's former fame we have heard of, how princes displayed then their prowess in battle. Oft skiled the skyfing from scathers in numbers, from many a people their mead benches tore. Since first he found him friendless and wretched, the earl had had terror. Comfort he got for it, waxed neath the welkin, world honor gained, till all his neighbors o'er sea were compelled to bow to his bidding and bring him their tribute. An excellent athlete. After was born him a son and heir, young in his dwelling, whom Godfather sent to solace the people. He had marked the misery malice had caused them, that reaved of their rulers they wretched had erstwhile long been afflicted. The Lord, in requital, wielder of glory with world honor, blessed him. Famed was Beowulf, far spread the glory of Skyld's great son in the land of the Danesmen. So the carl that is young by kindness rendered the friends of his father with fees in abundance, must be able to earn that when age approacheth. Eager companions aid him requittingly. When war assaults him, serve him as liegemen. By praiseworthy actions must honor be got among all of the races. At the hour that was fated, Skyle then departed to the All-Father's keeping. Warlike to went him away, then they bear him to the flood of the current. 
his fond, loving comrades, as himself he had bidden, while the friend of the Skyldling's world sway wielded, and the well-loved land prince long did rule them. The ring-stemmed vessel, bark of the Aetheling, lay there at anchor, icy in glimmer and eager for sailing. The beloved leader lay down there, giver of rings on the breast of the vessel, the famed by the mainmast. A many of jewels, of fretted embossings, from far lands brought over, was placed near at hand then, and heard I not ever that a folk ever furnished afloat more superbly with weapons of warfare, weeds for the battle, bills and burnies on his bosom sparkled, many a jewel that with him must travel on the flush of the flood afar on the current, and favors no fewer they furnished him soothly, excellent folk gems, than others had given him, who, when first he was born, outward did send him, lone on the main, the merest of infants, and a gold-fashioned standard they stretched under heaven, high o'er his head, let the home currents bear him, seaward consigned him. Sad was their spirit, their mood very mournful. Men are not able soothly to tell us, they in halls who reside, heroes under heaven to what haven he hide. Here are all the finished motifs, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll join in for part two of Weaving With Me and Reading Beowulf. I will see you next time. Okay, it's all done, and there's a variety of motifs here, which this one is kind of motif number one, the original one, and then we have motif two, uh, then I kind of messed up on motif three, and I managed to do it right here, which you can see. And then I started playing around, and I have kind of something like this. Here's another variation on the S's. And then I ended up realizing that um, I can make a fish. So, let's see. So here's my little fish pattern. And I am going to put this on this outfit and then this whole garb will be concluded. I'm thinking, this necklace is kind of accurate, but also kind of not accurate. But I got it from my friend and I thought it's kind of cool if I wore this as like maybe some sort of traded item. Like my character met somebody and traded with them and this is what they ended up with. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will be back with more weaving and part two of Beowulf in a couple of weeks.